So here's where we're going to get uh, you all actively participating. So take a look at this image. So again, this is zoomed in. If you follow my cursor, these sort of pinkish circles are red blood cells. Now notice that the red blood cells are stacked. I'm seeing a few folks saying that uh, this uh, it looks like they're spherocytes, but that might be an artifact of the, um, the, the cells, some cells being stacked on top of each other. What folks are pointing out is that there's a lot of what look like white blood cells in this smear. Um, and some of them look sort of um, with large nuclei. There's something abnormal about this morphology, but my eye's also drawn to this cell here that I'm highlighting that have a very strange morphology. And if I told you that this was an older patient, maybe having some B symptoms, folks in the chat have already been putting uh, the right answer in. This is what a smudge cell, and I put in a zoomed in smack dab in the middle there, is the smudge cell. Thank you all so much for chiming in in the chat. The reason they look like this is because the cells are very fragile. CLL, of course, chronic lymphocytic leukemia. So this is a malignant process. Um, this typically affects older adults. The basic science things to know here is that uh, markers that are associated with B cell lineages are positive in this, um, or lymphocytes are positive in this disease. And you can see that on your screen, CD20, CD23, CD5. And some of the clinical associations to keep in mind is that this is associated with autoimmune hemolytic anemias. And a feared complication is the so-called Richter's transformation and the transformation to the large uh, cell lymphoma, DLBCL, diffuse large B cell lymphoma. So if you see this cell, it's because the cell was fragile when the pathologist or the lab tech was creating this uh, slide, they um, you know, moved that cover slip and these fragile cells were crushed, uh, forming the very characteristic smudge cells. Excellent work, everyone. And just a comment that CML is uh, myelogenous. So it's, it's uh, of the myeloid lineage, not the lymphoid lineage. And of course, there you would be expecting more of the myeloid forms of cells. So basophils, right? Um, more myeloid lineage 